Welcome back everyone. Um, I wanted to do something a little different today and show you guys pretty much a flip of my February uh, inserts and also share with you guys something I added to my daily planning. So if you looked at my previous videos, you would see that um, I'm working primarily out of a disc system. And I have a lot of inserts from cloth and paper or accessories and um, disc or Levenger brand. I just swear by Levenger brand discs. These discs are, I believe the one and a half. I went ahead and put my bigger discs on because well, this puppy's pretty thick. Lots of paper in there. Um, a lot of tabs. Because I did add on extra tabs. Okay. Tabs are from cloth and paper. And then I used my um, label maker. And made the labels. Okay. And then there's some top stuff going on there. So, and then I, and too, I have a cloth and paper monthly subscription box. Um, I did put a pause for March because I find a lot of times with these subscription plans and primarily with, with cloth and paper, either the month is going to be stuff, stuff that I can really use uh, fully or pretty much just the accessories are really going to be um, useful for me. Um, like, you know, sticky taps and sticky notes, things like that. And, uh, dashboards. I, of course, I love the dashboards. What I added to my system, because this is great for when I'm at work and pre-planning. But if I'm out running errands, it really isn't. Um, so I've had this look term and don't come for me. <laughs> If I'm not pronouncing that right, but I do have um, this notebook and I believe this is the A6 size. And of course, the A6 um, in this with this brand is not your same A6 when it comes to comparison with your Hobonichi A6. Um, so this is more of a pocket size. This would fit into a pocket size uh traveler's notebook or tn which i have done that before and i have various tns covers like this wonderful one when um before chic sparrow um switched and named this type of um technique it was called uh, what is it called hand brushed or hand something whatever and then they changed it to something more official because i think it was something it, it was like she uh showed an example or showed her cover and i hit her up and said hey can i have that and then it kind of took off from there um so anyway um so as you can see it will fit in a tn pocket size and i have a bunch of other stuff in here and this is a, a wide in i believe tn anyway but this was more conducive to actually putting in my purse weekends, errands, or after work, running errands and pulling out to look real fast at what I need to get done before I go home. I mean, I mean, this fits in the hand. It's very small um, and it was perfect. And it's um, a dog grid and numbered. And I love the numbered notebooks because it's easier for indexing. And I've had this notebook since 2017, <laughs> and it's 2022, um, so I'm trying to use up a lot of my inventory, and so this is a great way to use this. So anyway, so what I'm going to do, after all that rambling, um, I'm going to show you a flip of February, and let you know what inserts are being used for February. Uh, you will see either washi tape, or little sticky notes, flags, or even scribbled areas. And it's because this is primarily my work planner and then I am using it for a, a lot of personal 
bill payments, uh, just putting it on there so I could easily reference through the day what I got going on, coming out, so forth. Um, but after the month is over, when it comes to work, I rarely um, need to review or pull out um, my archived inserts. Um, I, I always archive them um, when I have actual inserts, um, pages, um, like Franklin um, Planner inserts, but I, I don't really go back to them. So anyway, um, I am going to archive it at least for a couple months, and then I'll probably throw them away. But anyway, so I just scribble out names and things like that because I, I know I won't need it. All right, so let me show you guys uh, February. So um, I have um, where I have these that are, they were, I, I ordered these monthly set of tabs from somewhere. It was part of my stash where I only use a few, so it's perfect. I had some still, so I have them for February, March, April. And here I have, I always want to have like three months of the monthly in here. All right, what I did was I took a combination of the inserts from Mommy Plants, or Mommy Plants, inserts, her GTD monthly, weekly, daily, and then her balanced. Um, because I started off with the first set, really liked them, and then I saw she had a balance, and I was like, oh, that looks interesting, but... I did a combination afterwards because I found that some of it was just a little redundant or too much with the balanced. Um, so this is where this um, insert page, which is going to be the beginning of the monthly. I love this. Um, there's these icons for these sections, which explains what these sections, these icons mean, description. So it's a key. And then I added on another key in, a, in each key has a color so my personal stuff is purple and it says uh i believe it says me and then for family it has the like three people and i have it blue work is green home um and home is just whatever okay this is me i'm still doing this stuff <laughs> and um but my project stuff is going to be yellow I tend to color code, um, especially during my work days, because it makes it easier for me to focus on exactly what I need to um, during my work hours. I don't need to be focusing on my yellows because my yellows generally is personal stuff for projects, and, nor do I need to focus on the blue stuff unless I need to call a family member, which is, again, rare during the school uh, work hours. So anyway, um, it starts off with events. So I have a couple events here and then I have some tasks. And then, so I took this part of the balanced and then I just, the, the monthly is the same for both versions of her sets. So I have the monthly and you can see there's color coding, just a little light decoration for Valentine's. And then on the opposite side of the monthly is this monthly reflection, and um, I really didn't need to do much reflecting. Um, so yeah. Then, so this is where I love the, the GTD set from Mommy Plants. There's an area up here for weekly review, so I did write some things down on there. Um, To-do list projects. There's a someday maybe reference, and I don't have anything here. And this has the um, the flip. So I like using the flip because then this has next action waiting on. And then, as you can see on the flip, then this is primarily for me. And then you have the timeline here. I have, you know, pulling stuff out of my stash. I'm using up this stuff. So I have some days of the week. Um, so the beginning of February started on Tuesday, and so I'm just using up some of my stash. Otherwise, you can highlight, because she has it already here for the days of the week, and then you can put the, you know, number, however you want. So I'm just going to flip through. As you can see, there's things that are highlighted in color with my color code. 
and I'm just going to flip. Sometimes I use some of these little half sheets. They're not really half. It's a little short, um, narrower than half. But sometimes I put some of this for my own stuff. A lot of times I find that, uh, well, because I'm a having a planner is a necessity, but also a hobby for me. I just try out different things. So I kind of decorate a little more on this. But otherwise, it's going to be um, like this date wasn't that side wasn't needed because it was Sunday here um, and so then that would be that first week and I like having this because it helps me easily get to whatever week you know with the dailies now this is where I was uh, trying out her balanced set so the balance has this weekly overview space then you have a tracker which i do like the tracker and then it had you know a weekly here and what i was using this for is logging food i was trying it um that way and then there's this just open space and you can use this however you want you can make it as a um, running task list notes whatever so it doesn't have the fold out and then your dailies is a day on two pages so there's open space here to do whatever and I tend to put my top three up in this space and then the timeline is from uh, 5 a.m. with a half hour increment space to 9 p.m. And that's going to be different than the other set of inserts where those run from 4 a.m. with half hours all the way to 3. So this is going to be a 24-hour timeline, which I prefer 24-hour, which, I mean, in this kind of 24-hour is kind of different than, say, um, Yujibin Techo and Hobonichi's in that, you know, kind of scene thought starts at... Uh, 4 a.m. Um, but yeah. And so then you have the second. Oh, excuse me. And then you have this area where you can put some to do's um, and then your grid on the opposite side. And you, get, and you can see how I pull stuff out of my stash for the day. And it just goes on like that. Sometimes I really used um, the notes side so I'm just gonna flip I use a little washi tape just cuz I'm just trying to not that it has any rhyme or reason but just trying to use up my stuff you guys years of purchasing collecting stationary stuff I just like I need to use it up I even put a little weather sticker there and then that ends the first week of using the balance set. And like I said, it doesn't have a fold out like the first week that it did with the other set. And so, yeah. And then I went back to printing out the weekly um, fold out. I really liked how this GTD setup is. So there's this week. And, you know, I have stuff in my stash and I just put it in there. Nothing's written on the other side. And matter of fact, this has had this for a while. But I just like because it's the purple. And these days seem crazy busy. And then you're going to find that on the weekends you're going to see more purple because that's my personal stuff. Or I don't put any color coding because it's my my time and then there's that week and then it just continues like that so you know February is a shorter month and with the month being shorter it ended on the 28th which was what a Monday um, and normally I like to keep my months together but um, because of 
I like also my weeks to stay together. I just decided to go ahead and put the 28th with my March. And so and then we have here the March monthly overview. And then I'm not going to show my March because I do have a lot of stuff I haven't um, covered up yet. And then uh, monthly reflection, which I meant to put this reflection <laughs> on the February one. That was a good fall. All right. And then we just go into March. And that's where I am. I am with the uh, monthly dailies. And then, of course, I, I have my GTD section and that I use and I review that every week and then I have um, let's see here the timesheet and the sleep tracker that I'm trying to keep up with and definitely the timesheet because I I tend to work longer I stay at the uh, shelter that I work at the emergency foster care shelter beyond my scheduled hours so I like to keep it up to date so that you know every other week I can submit my hours because if I can comp out some time then I want to comp out some time now with the um the loop term I started using this I was like let me just try this out and so I set up the week of the 21st of February through the 27th here. And so I it created it this week. So stuff that I need to get, I wanted to get done during the week, any day. And then I set up the Monday like this. And as you can see, I have different colors for different things. So, you know, green, of course, is for work. And I put a timeline starting at 7 to 10 p.m. And so I have my work schedule, what I was reading. Um, I wanted to get some gas and go through a car wash. Uh, my orange color is for health, so exercise. And I'm using this light pink here for stuff that has to do with money. Um, and then I had to return the on-call phone. Then um, purple is work prep. And then something with money again. I need to wear some nail glue. <laughs> and then um, just a note. You know, I'm watching this uh, Korean um, series on Netflix. I did some weather. Logging the weather. I love my little Korean diary stickers. I think it's cute. There was no school that day. Again, I have some, a lot of stuff in my stash. So that's how that Monday went. And then we got Tuesday, Wednesday again. I like to make it a little cute, a little fun. It was icy that day. And then that weekend. And then I also use this for random notes, shopping list, um, you know, something, if I'm watching YouTube, so I you have a premium account through YouTube and shoot, you know, I don't pay for cable television. I have, you know, an Apple TV, I have Xbox One and a Samsung smart television. So anyway, I watch my shows through these different apps. And when I'm on YouTube, that seems to be my primary source of entertainment and news because I can pick and choose what I consume in my spirit. If something comes up, I'll write it down. And so I didn't know anything about the Los Angeles Chinese Massacre of 1871. So I wrote it down and then I went back and I did a little research online. Yeah. Shopping list. I put an S here so I can easily, when I'm flipping through, I can see that's what that page is quickly. And then I play Sims, so I've got notes and stuff. Uh, journaling, some Sims stuff. And then the last day of February. And that's how that looks. That's very, and then I've, I went ahead and prepped the March and yep.
and I love this. I love having this in my my purse. And like yesterday, I had a nail appointment. This is what I carried in my purse. I didn't carry this big hunker because it's not needed. And that is February, you guys. And the pen I've been using because my awesome coworker um, for Christmas, as a Christmas gift, she gave, got me a package of micron pins of different um, tip sizes. And I've been enjoying the microns. And so that you guys can see, micron 05, it says archival ink. And then, and I showed this pin with my Jib and Tet show this week for kind of a prompt question. Um, it's not one of focus, but um, it is a 0 0.45 five millimeters but this is the micron size 05 and it doesn't bleed through my Jim and Techo pages it doesn't bleed through the Luke Derm and it doesn't bleed through the um, paper I use for printing and don't ask me what um, weight paper and all that because I don't remember I would have to go to Amazon and look but it's a pretty thick paper that has a glossy feel and it doesn't bleed through that either so i've really enjoyed this pin so anyway that's it you guys if you have any comments questions please go ahead and post below you know what to do if you're new to my channel thanks for coming by go ahead and consider hitting the like button and hitting the subscribe i come as often as i find things that i think would be of interest all right, so you guys have a great start of your week. Thanks for coming and sharing your time with me, and see you later.